Hello, it's me, it's SparkleDot. I'm back again to talk to you in your face. Okay, so... If you've ever driven through the, the great land of Tennessee or Kentucky or one of those, uh... Ugh, like, north... Like, northern south... Like, northern southern states. I, I don't know the actual name for the region. But it... Like, one of those states that's, like, considered southern... But, like, north of the south, you know? Not, like, the deep south, but, like, the like the fun south where they got, like, Elvises and Memphises and Dolly Partons and stuff, you know, stuff like that. that. That's that's what I'm talking about, that region, you know? It's it's a good region. There's a lot of music that comes out of there, and Elvis Presley was born in Memphis or something. It was a promised land. That's where he lived. That's where his house is. That's where you can go and sit on his toilet where he had died. Actually, I think he might have actually died in, um in Las Vegas, like, during a, a tour or something like that, because, you know, he died pretty old. He was fat at the time he died, which means that he was probably kind of old, because young people, especially ones who are famous like Elvis, tend not to be so fat, because um, they they have lots of uh, sexual intercourse with beautiful women, and uh, as we all know, sexual intercourse burns, uh, it burns uh, calories, and it's like working out like what you heard your uh, friend talk about the anecdotes they used to send you on Facebook and stuff like that. It's like, well, that doesn't sound true, but I honestly don't know enough about the sexual intercourse to debate that claim because it sounds like something that could be true. I mean, any sort of physical activity that you exert yourself like that burns calories, and that's just the way that it is, right? So, I mean, it's like just even just sitting in a chair but thinking a lot will burn more calories than, uh, like, doing nothing, like, sleeping, even. Because your brain, actually, it takes up so much of your, uh, excess energies that, um... Come on, man. It burns up so much of your excess energies that, uh, actually... Come on. Come on, Natalia Simonova. Alright, so... Your excess energy is burned up by sitting there losing your brain thinking about things, being a smart man, like a smart boy, like a normal human smart boy, like you should be. Everybody should be smart. If you're, if you're not smart, then uh, be at, le at least be good at uh, manual labor. If you're not good at either one of those things, then you're uh, generally worthless as a, uh, as a person who lives in this economy that we all live in. Now, I don't want to call anybody worthless because I think that's a rude thing to call somebody. I think... Everybody's got uh, some sort of practical use application here in life. I think that everybody can find a way to uh, make a living. You know, it's not like you have to be perfect at everything that you do. It just all I really think that is that people should have some sort of marketable skill, something that uh, they can use to. survive in the world, you know, make a living for themselves. It's just, you know, it's not like I'm asking for much. I'm not asking for gold. I'm not asking for silver or myrrh or frankincense or nothing like that. All I'm really saying is that you gotta be a smart boy or you gotta be a strong boy. You, you gotta be smart or strong. You can't be, like, weak and skinny and, like, stupid or, like, good at video games unless you're, uh, one of those guys who sits around playing all day, all day playing, like, StarCraft 2 and, uh, uh, League of Legends and stuff like that and making a living doing that because I know people do that I know that's a very possible thing to do people get like sponsorships and stuff like that like if you move to North Korea uh, the government will fund you if you're good at that sort of thing and if you're not good at that sort of thing then um, you can get good and then like make a living that way it's like it's like it's like work especially if you do it all day long now here's the thing is that people think that if you do something all day long that people don't normally get paid for, that you're lazy. But I don't know. I, I don't think that that's necessarily true. I think that there's all sorts of uh, marketable applications that you could possibly have if you're uh, good at what it is that you do. Like, I don't know. People are, There are people who are good at drawing and they make their living off of drawing. But drawing is also a hobby for a lot of people. So I don't necessarily see how that's any different than being like really good at League of Legends or something like that. Because uh, that guy throwing a grenade at me? Right, get away. I want to get away. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that song? That's a good song. I don't know who's saying that. Probably was like, like Blink-182 or uh, some Fly Leaf or I don't know. One of those bands that are good but not as good as uh, my favorite band of all time, uh, Twisted Sister. It's a good band. If you don't like that band, you should go watch them. They're really good at what they do.
Okay, these guys are over here killing themselves. That's amazing. You know, life will find a way. It's like what they say in Jurassic Park. Life will find a way. Someday, love will find you. Break those binds that tie you, I think might have been the words. Maybe not. I don't remember exactly what it was, but the... Uh, if I was close, then at least, you know, you, you can just give it to me, right? You can, like, give me that. Is that everything? Alright, so where is uh, Natalia Simonova? There she is. Alright, let's go, hun. Let's go, babes. Babs. Babs. That was the name of, uh, of, uh, George H.W. Bush's uh, wife, I believe. Babs Bush, or Babs Bunny from Tiny Toons. I'm not insane, I promise. I promise I'm not a crazy person. Okay, so, um... So this level's kind of annoying. I know I don't like to talk much about the game that I'm playing, but this level's kind of a pain in the fucking ass, so... If I if I lose a bunch of times, just know that, uh... If, I mean, you, you... If, if you're not, like, a small child or nothing, you should already know what this level's all about. You should know that this one's, like, an escort mission, and if it's, like... Hey, I don't like to escort, uh people on missions like this, then you should know that that's what, exactly what I'm doing here, because... Someone shoot me every day? There he is. Okay, fella. Um, right, so... I'm gonna try my gosh dang best, and hopefully it won't turn out completely awful. I like to, uh... I like to maintain a an air of mystery, but sometimes it's just not so easy to do, so I'm gonna run through here as fast as I can, and hopefully it won't be... Uh, or, no worries thinking of a song, I'll just burp a lot, because that's what I do on my show, I burp. I got, I made the promise to you before that I burp every episode. That hasn't, I haven't been upholding that promise, actually, but, uh, there we go. <coughs> oh, but, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you've gotten sick of that joke. That joke's been overplayed at this point, that joke's, you dick, why would he do that? What a shitty thing to do. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, anyways. Holy shit. Come on, you fuck. Alright, so I went to Tennessee. I was saying this before, but I forgot sidetracked because that's what happens on my show. I get sidetracked by things like this. So, anyways, I went to Tennessee and I went. I drove through the Great Smoky Mountains and they were very beautiful and there was smoke coming off of them. But when I went through there, it was like raining at the time and there was like a mudslide going on and it was like kind of frightening because the the mud was like flowing down the mountain and that's I guess just what happens on large mountains like that, like large summits and peaks like that. Then uh, you just have to be able to account for it because if you can't account for it, then uh, what winds up happening is that you. Uh, you fall off of the road because that mud slides you off of the road. Now, if you've ever seen like a video of a car traffic trying to drive across a uh, flooded river or something like that, then you see that uh, actually what winds up happening is that the car it uh, uh, hello Boris it uh, it gets swept away into the ocean forever in the current and it gets swept away and the driver he like passes he perishes. And it's, it's sad, you know, it's kind of sad to see that happen, but uh, it's actually at the same time kind of informative because you're like, wow, now I know never to try to do that because if I try to do that, then I, all, it's, all that's going to wind up happening is I'm going to lose my life and I can't afford that because I've got a, uh, a wife and a family to take care of and I've got a uh, horse to feed. He's, he lives in my barn. His name is Chuckle. Not like Chuckles, but like Chuckle, just one. Like, you're like, huh, it's like a Chuckle, right? Maybe that's more like a chortle. I don't really recall the difference between the two. I looked it up one time on uh, on uh, Merriam-Webster's dictionary, and I couldn't find any better clarification than that because uh, actually the term chortle was uh, defined as a chuckle, and the word chuckle was defined as a chortle. So it's like I already know that those words are like short term, like shorthand words for laughter, but um, it's different actually because it's not like. Uh, you can't define a word with by you can't define a word using that same word itself. You know, it's the saying that they used to say. They still say it because it's. I mean, it's still true. I don't know why they'd stop saying a thing like that if it was uh, just stop being true. I can't see why it would be because it makes sense. It's a real, it's a real thing, and I'm sure you can appreciate that at for what it's for what it's worth. 
So, yeah, you know, just, uh... Expand your lexicon is all I'm gonna... That's all I'm gonna tell you. Just expand your lexicon, learn new words, be smart, be a smart boy. You don't have to be the smartest boy around, but you, you can be a smart boy. It's not like it's super difficult to be a smart boy. It's like that show, if you ever watched it, Smart Guy on Disney Channel. That was a good show, probably. I like that show, probably. Not that I remember it. It might have been like Boy Meets World. It's like, this is a good show for what it's worth, but, uh... But it's not something I could see myself, like, watching long term. I can't really get into it. It's not... It doesn't have the same, like, sort of characterizations that everybody loves Raymond has because I love that show. And I love Brad Garrett. He's always been my favorite actor. I've always maintained that Brad Garrett is a very good actor, and I feel like, uh... He's just very unappreciated, if uh, you ask me. I feel like he's a very unappreciated actor, and he should uh, um, find better work. He was uh, in that show, and he was in those commercials for Skittles, I believe, where it was like, everybody loves Brad uh, Garrett. And it was like, or he was, no, he was in that show, Till Death, which um, some people thought that was a spinoff of Everybody Loves Raymond, but it turned out so much that it wasn't a spinoff of Everybody Loves Raymond because the characters had different names. The, uh, Brad Garrett wasn't married to the same actress who played, um, uh, Amy, I think was the, uh, character's name that he was married to on the Raymond program. So if you like that show, go check it out, Until Death, it only ran for, like, two seasons or three seasons, but it was a good show, and he was married, and his name was, uh, probably Peter or something, and his wife's name was Joy, so go check it out. Um, this level gets a little bit intense, actually, so... Please uh, come back again soon, and I will finish it then. So, goodbye. I'm Sparkle Dot. Have fun. Goodbye. Mwah.